today I'm going to let Midjourney compete against Ideogram to see which one gets better results for print on demand prompts. So the first prompt I've got right here on Ideogram is for a really nice looking fall design in the shape of a hat. There's multiple results right here. I do quite like the look of this one, but it is spelled wrong, unfortunately. And notice as well how I've got a parent right here. So that means I used this image, I hit remix and then ran the prompt again because I liked the style of this image, but it was spelled wrong wrong so that's a quick tip this prompt by the way if you want to copy it go ahead and do so and i will leave it in the description down below i actually got this prompt from detour shirts video so make sure to check him out he's a really great youtuber here's the same prompt in mid journey and as you can see the result is terrible in comparison some of these leaves look a bit better in my opinion like this one right here that looks quite neat in terms of the leaf hat pattern but obviously the text turned out terrible mid journey not the greatest at text at all so that's where ideogram definitely shines and i think overall it did a way better job with this prompt compared to mid journey back to ideogram here we've got a super simple prompt that says cat in a coffee cup cute cartoon with text cappuccino and the styles are typography and poster now this is my favorite result out of the four cappuccino is spelled correctly at the top you can easily take out this text on the mug that was sort of messed up and some of these graphics do look really really cool and um, the text isn't always spelled correctly but you know that is to be expected and mid journey actually did quite a decent job right here overall it didn't get the text right as you would expect but i think the cat graphics with the mug look a lot better and this is what you will find if you compare ideogram to mid journey is that oftentimes mid journey has way better graphics because they've been around for so long they're just market leading with ai images and ideogram will have way better text results and the graphics won't really be up to par but ideogram is super new so that is to be expected so i really like this in the top right corner top left like pretty much all of these look really good for print on demand except for the text which is nowhere near the word that we wanted it to be next up we've got a design without text so this should be an interesting comparison as well this one is a sticker design and the prompt is quite a bit longer you can see it over here in case you want to try it out for yourself different results all of these look quite decent but a bit distorted in many places the parent also looks okay um, not bad but as you can see a lot of people do use the parents or the remix function i should say in order to get more accurate result to the style that they actually after this prompt actually looks really good in mid journey as you would expect graphics only mid journey definitely rules especially this one in the bottom left in my opinion looks amazing the lines right here in the background for the sunset look really cool very detailed dinosaur and even the bikes don't look like unrealistic they look pretty pretty good some of the stickers are a bit wonky with the with the shapes around them or some of the shadows but you know that's easily removed or fixed and yeah i mean mid journey did a way better job right here compared to ideogram because there was no text involved it definitely had an easier time this graphic also caught my eye because this style looks very interesting for print on demand it kind of feels a bit like a leonardo image almost and the prompt over here halloween t-shirt design for katrina skeleton doing squats holding a gym bar i don't know why this person added so many different styles like 3d render photo product poster etc nevertheless they did manage to get an interesting style out of this here's the parent as well if you wanted to see that and let's take this prompt over into mid journey where the results are actually a lot more detailed and not necessarily better in my opinion i mean they are sharper and more accurate but for print on demand this style is not ideal maybe that is because the prompt had all of those features like photo product 3d render but in this case i feel like the style of videogram actually looks a bit more pleasing when it comes to print on demand graphics no doubt that these ones if you zoom in look a lot more accurate and actually have a very realistic feel to them compared to ideogram but when we're looking at print on demand then maybe in this case ideogram has sort of a more suitable result and here we've got an amazing Halloween theme design. It says text, spooky vibes, and a cute ghost graffiti logo. So maybe try out graffiti logo for your prompt. White background, vector painting. And the results of these are super good. Like most of these are spelled correctly. I think all of these are actually. And even the parent has a super nice style. I love the gradient within this text. It drips, the thick outline, very easy to remove the background. So this is a prompt 
that you should definitely try out if uh, this is the sort of stuff you're looking to create. And Ideogram did an amazing job. Let's take this into mid journey in comparison absolutely ruined this. Uh, the ghosts look way worse than they did in Ideogram. So in this case, the graphics, I think, definitely terrible in comparison. And the text, as expected, is nowhere near. We've got Stovey right here. We've got PSLY, like it's nowhere near the word spooky even. So in this case, I think this is a clear win to Ideogram. It got amazing results with this prompt. But what happens if we do this the other way around and start in mid journey with a mid journey prompt. So this is one of my favorites to create an American flag themed design. And the prompt actually reads vintage retro distressed American flag badge design featuring a skull with contour, clear outline and white background. And the results look amazing. Like these would work really well for t-shirts, for stickers, many different print on demand products. And the background is also pretty easy to remove, especially on the top ones, the bottom ones are not ideal. Taking the same prompt into Ideogram and just removing some of the, you know, dash dash mock up and that sort of stuff from the end, we get okay results, but you can definitely see the difference right here between the two programs. For some reason, there's random text in this design. I do like the layout with the circle right there. But yeah, overall, the stars look really wonky. These lines for the flag are not straight. And just the details, if you zoom in or look into this closer, are just nowhere near the level of mid journey. So this is another great example of why Ideogram is not quite there yet when it comes to the graphic side of things. And lastly, I wanted to try out a bit of a different style right here. This is a very tall format that would be more suitable for wall art. And the graphics actually turned out really cool with the colors and that sort of minimalistic style right here. Very, very long and descriptive prompt in this case. And I thought it'd be interesting to see how this compares to Mid Journey. And looking at this, I don't think Mid Journey necessarily did a great job at comparison. Again, the quality is better and a bit more crisp, but the style actually looked better in Ideogram for this, in my opinion. Obviously, it's personal preference, but yeah, these results, they don't look bad. I just did prefer where Ideogram was heading with that prompt. So just one quick thing to clarify, because on my last Ideogram video, I actually got a lot of comments saying that we cannot use these images for commercial purposes. I totally get why people think this, because the terms of service for Ideogram are very unclear, and it does say that you cannot use their services services for commercial purposes only for personal and the thing is services is not defined so in their discord server and their official discord server and also on their other social media platforms they have had a lot of questions about this and they have stated the following hi we'd like to clarify our terms of service as follows we do not claim to own any of the prompts that users input into our platform or any output content that users generate from their use of our platform. We do not restrict your ability to use such generated content. Such generated content is not part of the services as defined in our terms of service. However, users should carefully consider and determine whether they wish to utilize output images for commercial purposes and what permissions they may need from third parties in order to do so. And I think what they mean here with the third parties and the permissions is if you generate images that are related to a celebrity or a brand, um, like a, a movie, anything like this, you're not allowed to sell that just because it's AI generated. If you're using Ideogram to create harmless graphics that don't have any relation to intellectual property, to copyrighted material, then you should be fine to use it because Ideogram doesn't restrict you from using the images specifically commercially. It's just that they describe the services for some reason as the part that is only for personal use. It is very unclear, but they have basically confirmed in their server, as you can see from the screenshot and on other social media platforms that they do not restrict us from using their content. We only have to be careful to not infringe on third parties. If you haven't heard of Ideogram yet, I would highly recommend checking out this video next where I show you an entire overview of the tool and how to use it for your designs.